we have uh, several awards today in uh, this reflection of the good work that you all do here. And uh, I say this many times, but you all deal with some of the toughest clientele in uh, Rapid City, and you do it with uh, professionalism, and you do it with compassion, and I appreciate that. Uh, on January 16th, 2020, the client was brought to the CARE Campus lobby by the Rapid City Police Department for a safe solutions bed. As the client was being processed for admission, he grabbed a lemon and tried to eat it like an apple. Taking a large bite out of it, he started choking and stopped breathing. Detox tech Travis Thorne quickly realized what was happening. He called for EMT assistance and initiated back slaps. The food dislodged from the client's throat and he was breathing again by the time the EMT staff entered the lobby. After the incident, it was revealed by the client he was attempting to end his life. Thanks to Travis's quick thinking, he was able to prevent this from happening. Thank you, Travis, for being there and saving a life. I'll run up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This bumps are more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you get that ticket. Now we have six more of this uh, same award that we're going to be presenting. Kim Blumenrader, Galen Gibbons, Mary Feiner, Justin Hansen, and Tyler Broghammer, and Brandon Spence. All these folks that I just named were involved in the same incident together, so I'll give you a recap of what happened. On December 18th, 2019, a detox client fell off his bunk and was found in a post-seizure state. Uh, immediately, detox tech Galen Gibbons uh, ran to grab the jump bag while detox tech Brandon Spence and supervisor Justin Hansen rolled the client over to check his condition. Staff immediately, immediately began administering oxygen. A few minutes later, nurse Tyler Broghammer assessed the client and quickly began CPR. Hearing the call come in, Kim Blumenrader, Sheriff's Office HR Generalist and Volunteer EMT, uh, responded to the CARE Campus uh, from the Public <coughs> Safety Building to assist. An EED was obtained by EMT Mary Feiner, and pads were applied to the client along with the Lucas machine. After the fourth shot from the AED and continued chest compressions, the team was able to revive the client's pulse and get him breathing again. The client was then transported to the emergency room by the Rapid City Fire Department. This life-saving incident was a true representation of exceptional staff working together in volunteer EMS response. Thank you all for willing to step up in the moment and save a life. Thank you. Put those on quick. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze a little bigger because it's bad. <laughs>